Canada's banking regulator launched an investigation last year into sales practices of the big banks after our Go Public team revealed the widespread pressure on bank employees to upsell customers on everything from credit cards to investments. Now, some bank employees say one of the regulator's key findings is simply wrong. Erica Johnson joins us with the latest Go Public investigation. We're concealing the identity of this CIBC financial advisor because she's worried about her job. She says staff at her branch are in disbelief over a key finding in a recent investigation into sales practices at Canada's big banks. I can't even explain to you how disheartened we all were. Over six months last year, the banking regulator, the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada, interviewed some 600 bank employees from the country's six big banks, reviewed 100,000 pages of bank documents, 4,500 complaints. In its recent report, the regulator said it found a sharp focus on sales that can increase the risk of mis-selling to customers, but also said it did not find widespread mis-selling. Now that this report has come out, the pressure is 100% full force. It's every single day. How many products did you sell? She and several employees at other banks say, contrary to the report's finding, they are causing harm to many customers, pushing products to meet sales targets. You go home and you know that you told somebody that they needed to put their money into an investment because you had gaps that needed to be filled. In an email, CIBC told Go Public the actions described are not representative of our culture, which is focused on putting our clients at the center of all we do. Michelle Bechtold believes she's a victim of the bank's sharp focus on sales. A teller at her BMO branch recently sold her on a complimentary upgrade to her credit card that turned out to have a higher interest rate. Had I never said yes to this teller, to this day, I would still have my gold 13.9% credit card. But because I said yes to this teller, I am now trapped with this 19.9% problem. BMO has apologized and given Bechtold $150. This consumer advocate says the bank regulator's report was too vague and questions that mis-selling wasn't widespread. Based on the content of the report and the tone of the report, uh, we remain, uh, we're unconvinced. And as you can see, Eric is in our Vancouver newsroom. Tell us about the industry's response to these bank employees saying that they're still under pressure to push products. Well, the Canadian Bankers Association sent Go Public a statement, and they said that all banks have high ethical standards and that when mistakes happen, they try to fix them quickly. However, they didn't address what you just mentioned, this pressure that bank employees say they are under to upsell customers. And more to come in your investigation. Yeah, the deputy commissioner for the banking regulator said she's actually glad that this issue has been raised in the media because she wants people to know that banks are a sales environment and may not be acting in your best interest. She also said that later this year, the regulator is going to be doing some mystery shopping inside banks. So that'll be interesting. And the regulator wants to hear from any bank employees confidentially, she says, if they have concerns about selling. The FCAC, the regulator, wants to hear from them. Thanks, Erica.